Today we're going to be working on a Dell Inspiron N5110. And the problem is, if I can find it, oh, there it is. The problem is, the charging port is damaged. And I have a replacement board, I just got it off of eBay. And that's what she looks like. And I'm going to take this apart. Show you how to take it apart. Step by step. And install it. First we want to take and remove the battery. Just going to have that out like that. And it's going to be a couple of screws, a lot of screws. Um, every little hole here, you see, there can be screws that you have to take out. You see, that that's all you have to screw taken out. So, once you get these screws taken out, why don't we just do this together. I'm also going to take this cover here off. That should give it access to the keyboard. Should be a screw for the keyboard. If there's not, then that's great. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to get into that. Probably need to take and pry something out. There. And there's no screws for the keyboard. That's what I'm just checking to see. Um. If there's any loose parts, make sure you remove them. That's just something that was probably floating on the bottom. Anyway, let's carry on. It's going to be a long tutorial video. This screw here, there should be a screw here. This has been worked on before, apparently. There should be a screw here for the DVD player, or the CD player. That would just slide right out. So there should have been a screw there. That's why you need to open that up so you can get to that. And I bought this screwdriver. It comes in a set from Walmart. You can buy any type of Phillips screwdriver that works for you. And what I've done is magnetize the end of the screwdriver, the magnetizer. Two more screws on the back, and we should be done with the bottom. Okay, so we'll put the bottom down, we'll lift, fold it up, and at the top of this keyboard here should be little tabs. And what I do generally is I take, I think I barely have fingernails right now, and I'll take and I'll get under a, a key. And what I like to do is take this and push down. And that's going to release the little latch. 
If you can get one side and go in. If we can get it high enough. So we're gonna go through this like that. Come on. Sometimes she has to talk to it. I feel like there's another there's a screw that's missing because it's not wanting to pop up. So let's take a look at this. I'm just going to take the memory chip out just for the sake of taking it out to see if there's perhaps a screw underneath here or not. And of course there's not. Like I said, it should just pop right up. I get that side popped up. Let's just continue down the line. This shouldn't push out that way. Alright. Now, this here is a little flat. Let me see if I can zoom in. That flat folds up. And you remove your keyboard that way. And there's going to be another flap here your touchpad and then this one here is for these buttons to the right and in the far left is for your power switch and they have a little blue tab on them you can pull gently out there's going to be a few screws on the top. I see one, two, three, four. So there's one, two, three, four. Okay, so with this removed, those screws should be able to take on your right hand side where your DVD player, where your CD ROM player used to be, you're going to just basically pry it apart. 
and you're going to hear a popping noise. Or rather, it may just pop top. solid piece. So, alright. Down here at the left hand corner, I just took and did my nail like that and it came up. So if you have like a butter knife or something you could pie up with, I'm just going to use a pick. This here Seems like you pop that up just like that. So all of the circuits with the ribbon cables are still intact on this plate. So you can't bend this plate at all. And you have circuitry on here, so you want to put that safely somewhere else. Now this is going to be the interesting part because your board is located at the very back here. So I'm going to have to take and see what we need to do. I always like to tell people this is a, this is a learning channel, so you learn when I learn. So if I'm taking it apart and I'm piling because I've never done this particular model before, it's the beauty of finding out stuff. We're going to start over here to the right. It's going to be the LAN chip. It's not the LAN chip, it's the Wi Fi module. And white's at the very bottom, black's at the very top. I'm going to disconnect this. The reason so is because we're going to have to take this screen off. And the Wi Fi cable, the antenna runs into the screen itself. And there's going to be two screws here for the bracket for the display. We are going to loosen them up. And we'll do that to the opposite side as well. But there's going to be another connector cable that we're going to have to take in the mirror as well. Um, chances are the motherboard will have to come up also because sucker board is on the very left hand side. I'm trying to get this last screw here up, but it's not really co cooperating, so I'm just going to leave it. Um, I'm just going to take the motherboard off first. There's a little wire down here. We're just going to gently nudge it out. You're not supposed to take and pull it by the wire. So if you can get it by the connector, it would be better. Otherwise, if you break this wire, you're not going to have any audio. I'm not sure what this is exactly right now. But we're going to take the screws off of the motherboard. You got one screw here. Got a second screw here. Got a third screw here. And I wouldn't be. Yep, there's the fourth screw. The very nice thing about these, um, when you take the screws out, they have these little arrows here that tell you where you need to put the screw back in. Sometimes it means something, sometimes it doesn't. Like this arrow here. So we have four screws out so far. 
it's going to be a connector here that we're going to have to pay attention to, and that's for the display. Um, I do want to take this. This comes off, whatever this little board is. It is the half switch board, which is probably this here, this little circuit board here. When you close your lid, on the top of the lid, there is a magnet. So it shuts off your backlight. So that's what that's for. So don't forget that. Because then your backlight circuit won't shut off. I'm going to drain your battery. I'm guessing this here separates with the connector. Um, I can't see down there. We'll get to that when we get the display up. But I want to focus more right here. Let's see if I can zoom in. I move my camera over. So this has two tabs on either side and we're gonna gently push them. You can rock them back and forth, just don't be insane about it. And do not do any damages to these little capacitors here. I kinda wanna just do it like that. I don't wanna damage that guy. Okay, so I'm gonna take this screw here out I'm going to zoom back out because you don't need to see hair follicles. I know this is a very obs obscure view, but I figured if I can get this where you can see it, the better. Okay, so we got the two screws here. I still have the one on the far right I have to remove. That's when I figured it was a little rivet broken in the plastic frame. Alright, so we have another screw here on the motherboard. Well, let's see if we can just lift this straight up. Alright, that's what I kind of figured is this would be something we have to take out um really interesting this pops off and there's some more screws but the loose part there why don't we take this from here That's complete. I'm going to leave that there, this little screw here. And this should I really don't like bending that. So let's take a look at this real quick. I'm not familiar with that kind of connector. There's this little white connector in between here. Um, seems like there should have been there's screws here holding it. I'm going to try something. Okay. Well, that worked. I basically just pry these two boards apart without doing any damage. And now I have lifted the full motherboard out with this attached. And you'll see on the back side, there's a little connector here that will basically you should be able to work it. Loose might be a little tight. Just like that. Now 
Now, if you were handy, you could take and just replace this socket, but for like seven dollars, just go ahead and replace the whole deal. And what's nice about this is they had the rivets, the uh, standoffs, will line up right in the hole where it should have been when you screwed it in. There. This had a little plastic piece, and I don't know if the seller included that on purpose just to protect it, but kind of preventing me just then to quickly insert it. If you had heat compound grease, you could actually take your fan out. This would be a perfect opportunity to take your fan apart and actually clean it. Because this thing here builds up with lint real easy. I'm going to shine it on light real quickly. Like and see if I can see daylight. And I can. So that means it's pretty clean. So I'm going to leave it. So. If you were following this video to take the fan apart. You would take in order one, two, and three. And this would come up. You also would remove this cable here for your fan. And then they have these four screws here. And this shroud would come apart from that fan. And then you would remove your lint ball that's on the opposite side of this. So, and then you would replace, apply your heat compound grease back on the top of this that you cleaned it. And put three, two, one back on. As we had this all back down, and that's it. So the rest of this, just assembling the uh, parts. I think the hardest part would be this side connector. Lining it up. You also got to remember to line the left side up first before you can snap this side in. And it should, by right, just snap right in. I'm expecting to hear a, an actual snap. It is more like a press fit. So, this only affects your, like your microphone end and all that, and your Wi Fi. So, if your Wi Fi is not working, it could be just that one connector there not being seated. So, next, I'm going to put this back up here. It's just snap right in place, just like that. And we're going to put the screen back in this little frame area. And make sure we do it on both sides. I'm going to get one side in first. Started. Before we get too far, I want to take and put this connector back in for your video. And this lines up perfectly. Make sure it's snug. I 
need a light screw over here. I'm not sure if there's actually a spot. I think the the bracket is actually broken on this side. So Okay, so we won't worry about that. We connect the black wire on the top for your Wi-Fi. Let's do the little small screws. Remember the little arrows should be where the screws go. Remember to plug this back in at the very bottom. And this snaps right back in this little socket. Just like that. Then we're going to take and put this top piece here on. And there should be, if you remember, four screws. One, two, three, four. That we put down for this. to take and reconnect the connectors, the flat ribbon cables. Same way with here, far right. Next is your keyboard. And see how that will lay flat. And you take and you shove your little, you got one, two, three, four, five, six tabs at the very bottom. And I got a push free. Just like that. Close your lid. Let's press the DVD player. Yep, it's actually a DVD player, so that's fine. Um Say if Ashley has a screw. Nope. Might have been wrong about the screw hole, guys. Nope, they didn't have a screw hole. That's amazing. So anybody can just take and pull that out. That's really interesting. I, I would put the bigger tabs in first and then the bottom ones here. Kind of work it way around. At an angle, and you just screw this tight, and then from here on out, you just.
putting all of your screws that you've taken out, the, they are the same size. Nothing big or smaller about it. Pretty much straightforward. And I'm hoping that you follow along this video and you're able to fix your computer. If you did, let me know in the comments. I really love and enjoy reading positive comments and suggestions. That's something I enjoy reading and seeing. I can take constructive criticism without an issue. I didn't want to bore you guys with music, just like blaring really loud. I didn't really want to bore you with talking a lot either. I just wanted to be a straightforward video, taking apart, no BS, no selling your merchandise, just getting the job done. So, still short windscrew, and that's fine. Put this here. And we're going to plug it in. Make sure everything works. So I had the battery removed to make sure that it's actually working. And it is. But there you have it, guys. Hopefully you fixed your computer. If you did, give me a thumbs up like it leave me a comment subscribe i'll see you next time